Yo, what is going on YouTube? Crypto Chemist here back again with another video for you guys. And today we are looking at a very different project, something that I might have not actually seen before in the cryptocurrency space. Now, what we're looking at today is fib.dev. So what this is all about right away when you hop on the website, you can see that you can earn through yield farming. And the fact that yield farming is actually around it is currently overly dependent on the governance tokens remaining at high valuations and there's a lot of ways to actually solve problems like this and since the value of DeFi protocol tokens as governance tokens which are still based on exchange value rather than the value linked to the actual volume of loans being created or token swaps being facilitated yield farming operations that are simple and profitable today could become hard to carry and actually fail to break even as different governance tokens fluctuate in price so with that being kept in mind guys the only reason to hold or keep using these solutions is because you suspect other people want it and aside from basic voting rights their actual utility is purely as a speculative asset this will lead to people abandoning that solution for others which governance tokens are still able to retain adequate value in fact guys most of the first generation and now popular DeFi protocols openly state that their token has zero value like the founder of yearn finance said we have zero we have released yfi and it's a completely valueless zero supply token and we reiterate it has zero financial value the hypothesis guys fib.dev is a hypothesis that is designed and will be deployed to be a simple direct solution to the current market shortcomings inherent in other DeFi solutions, namely the detached setup between governance tokens and the value yield generated by the platform. When you stake your asset on fib.dev, in addition to farming their token, the asset will actually be used to yield farm the highest performing asset from other protocols. Guys, fib.dev retains the benefits substantiated by other generation solutions, but improves by using an ability to adjust the supply of fib to better ensure profitable long-term farming. Look at this beautiful graphic they have going right there. Guys, the timeline is here as well. If you're looking to find out more about what these guys have been doing and what they're looking to do in the near future, the timeline is spread out like this. The GitHub repository is available for viewing. The smart contract address is right here. If you click on it, it takes you right over to the ether scan where you can see the contract, the contract address and all the transactions coming in and out. Uh, they've got the independent contract audits. You can click on apply here. The pre-sale is coming the 1st of October 2020 and the token burn is happening the 3rd of October 2020. Liquidity lock is also happening on the 3rd of the 10th month of 2020 and then the 5th of October the Uniswap listing is happening and you guys know I have a special place for Uniswap because you can just swap the tokens over to uh, Ethereum very easily now they got the bug bounty don't forget about that man the purpose of FIPDEV vulnerability bounty program is to be proactive about blockchain security by providing a channel for security researchers to report potential security vulnerabilities related to our underlying infrastructure and anyone who finds vulnerabilities can send an email to dev at fib.dev and it's so easy man to actually get that information out there if you guys have questions concerns these guys are available to answer those they've got a bunch of program rules that you guys need to follow all the links will be in the description for you guys to check that out when you're actually trying to participate in the bounty and the scope of this bounty program actually lies within the fact that security vulnerabilities of the following projects must be addressed and the report to be eligible for rewards and that's the fib dev contract and the fib dev site so if you guys do find anything there definitely submit that here are the different levels of the bounty you can actually have up to a thousand dollars usd and issues lead to serve asset loss 
then you've got the medium level up to 500 bones issues lead to network failure and the low which is 200 pacer runes or bucks and other valid issues are under that as well we are good on that matter they've got the careers tab if you guys are looking to actually get into the platform and work with some of these guys they're looking at model risk analysts quantitative analyst leads and solidity developers so definitely a lot of opportunities on those teams but looking at the team themselves yes they are choosing to stay semi-anonymous and why is that guys we always talk about transparency being one of the biggest things in the market but sometimes it is not as important and you get as you guys may think and there's a reason to why this may be the case in this platform and they have a hypothesis which they believe can be the next iteration and they wish to contribute by using this platform to prioritize iteration and innovation over cumbersome red tape now by helping the ecosystem to evolve and mature because solutions like there's dilute the detached setup between the governance token and the value being generated it may shift their token into a classification which may carry wider regulatory burdens and hence they must be mindful and also reiterate to anyone wishing to engage with these contracts do your own research diligence and obtain trusted advice before engaging in these contracts of course but please have a look at their github accounts if you want to get more uh, familiar with these guys they got turn speed jack 76 and gustav 9 and their githubs are obviously connected right there and you guys can get in touch with them and find out more about their platform very cool to see we're gonna jump back over onto their telegram see what's popping over there of course 138 members these guys are on the come up as you guys can see I can see this platform being big. I can see this group getting bigger. If you guys aren't in this group, if you guys haven't checked out this platform, all the links will be in the description for you guys to check out. And do not forget, man, these guys are pretty brand new. So their channels and accounts aren't gonna have hundreds of thousands of followers, but technology is there. And the part of the crypto industry that these guys are looking to actually penetrate with this platform is definitely one that's going to grow very fast and very, very big. At this rapid speed that these guys are going out i can see the telegram group completely popping off having a whole bunch of people and a whole bunch of fans actually following this project now before we get to that i do want to mention one thing that is so 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 important when you're looking to get into this platform is that you do not need to actually connect your Mi wallet you don't need to put a metamask up you don't need to connect any sort of online exchange or any sort of wallet to this platform to actually be able to navigate it and actually use this platform to your liking what's important to remember too is the low market cap gem and low cap crypto projects are cryptocurrencies that are in the early stages of development and as a result of that they have a low market capitalization guys people are attracted to these coins even though they're in early development with low market caps because low low cap coins can result in the highest profits if you guys are looking to 10x 20x 30x 40x these are the types of platforms you should go after and that's what i'm saying being completely way way off when it comes to how big these platforms and projects can actually go all right man fib.dev by nature being at an early stage guys the initial market cap on launch will be set at $558,950 and they see a similar market cap for the yf beta a few weeks ago guys now upon uniswap launch which fib.dev will also do the yf beta went from 35 dollars to two thousand dollars in the space of three days man that is insane profit users who got into the initial raise witnessed their investment go up by five thousand seven hundred and forty 14 percent forget about 10xing these guys did the impossible they pulled off a miracle and before moving on any forward any further there's information on how you can ask these guys questions it is super simple they have an faq section but let's talk about the tokenomics i do want to show you guys the tokenomics for fib.dev and this is really, really easy to follow, guys. You just got to follow the most recently adopted model, a low token supply and a majority of tokens reserved for the community and liquidity mining. 
guys the total supply is 39,000 fib i've never seen a supply so low that is pretty ridiculous so i think the value of these tokens are going to snap they're going to completely go off the charts and the token sale only selling just under 16,000 fib what the hell is this what kind of market are we on what are we witnessing this year in cryptocurrency some projects that i've never seen before with some of the most ridiculous numbers that are actually unbelievable but the development and the marketing team are only getting 430 fib man that's how low the numbers are you could literally pick up as many as you want the uniswap liquidity looking at a thousand five hundred and ninety seven fib plus a hundred and fifty nine point seven ethereum the liquidity mining rewards just over 21,000 fib so that's pretty lit and the key sale dates man don't forget that the first of october the sale that's the whitelist sale and the actual sell sale is happening the first of october too just at a later time 30 minutes utc and the sale is gonna last for 48 hours man if the 1597 eth hard cap is reached before then the sale will close and they will move on to the next steps of the timeline liquidity clock and uniswap listing if the hard cap is not reached unsold tokens will be burnt so you guys don't have to worry about that in any way and don't forget about the last thing i want to mention to you guys we looked at all their platforms they've got a nice medium page man the medium page does have a lot of news about the second gen sustainable yield farming first gen why first gen is doomed and why guys got to be switching over to the second gen and don't forget their discord too man they're very active in their discord group 78 people online and over 336 members which is crazy so we can actually hop into the discord group right now jack 70x actually invited us the links for invites will be in the description below as well and you guys can get it completely popping for yourselves man so huge shout out to the platform man huge shout out for these guys actually going out there and putting so much work into the fib dot their platform i know this is going to be changing the yield farming farming game this is going to be changing investments and DeFi technology for the next couple of years so definitely check this project out man all the links will be in the description below if you have any questions comments concerns leave it down below in the comment section smash the thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share it with your friends that are interested in cryptocurrency related content and i'll catch you guys on the next one i'm off for now peace